Hello, this is Chris Gannon, again. <laughs> um, I would like to show you uh, how to do knockout masking. Um, some of you may know how to do it. Um, there are not very many resources around online to show you how to do it, and it took me ages to get my head around it, and uh, it's actually, oh no, I'm gonna make that fatal mistake of saying it's simple. It is relatively simple, but the reason why it's simple is because I'm gonna tell you how, like, how simple it is, and I'm gonna explain it so that, uh, you realise how simple it is, because uh, it can be a little bit confusing, and um, uh, you, you got to know if you, just there are a few rules uh, about masks, etc., that you need to know. Uh, so, and this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to sort of uh, make a little test tube. It's going to have bubbles. Uh, now, you might think that the the bubbles are white. They're not. They're, they're transparent. When we've knocked out the bubbles, uh, so you can, you know, in theory, you can you can go into the CSS. Uh, and you can change the background. See, this is the problem I was having before, is I was making animations that had white bubbles for a white background or black bubbles for a black background. Um, and, um, and there you go, you see, it's, um, uh, the, the, you can see the background through it. Uh, and violet, etc. So let's just change that back to, in fact, let's make that white. All right, uh, so transparent bubbles, lovely jubbly. That means you can overlay your, your nice animated icon on uh, a bitmap or, or whatever, and it'll, uh, it'll look cool. All right, so, um, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, let's go. Right, um, first of all, lab demo. Uh, first of all, <laughs> lab demo, illustrator. Uh, so I've drawn um, this in here. Uh, this is, um, the liquid, tube liquid, it's blue, it's liquid, it's blue. Uh, this is the outline, uh, it's there, there are very few components to this really. And then uh, a group of bubbles, notice up here, bubble group. Uh, and they're all just circles of varying different sizes, okay? Um, and they're black, and they need to be black. Um, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, Okay, and I've also, if you've seen any of my other um, tutorials or demos, uh, I always have um, what, what I call a context layer, which is literally just a, a, a rectangle that's the same shape as the artboard. Uh, and whenever I want to copy stuff from Illustrator into text editor or into HTML, uh, then I copy that along with it and it keeps um, the test tube in the same, or oh, keeps the graphics in the you know, in the same place within the the artboard. Okay, so I'm going to select everything, copy it, Control C, and then head over to. In fact, I'm going to go over to um, uh, Sublime into just an empty SVG and paste it all in. So you'll see there's the tube group, that's the outline and the liquid, and then there's the bubble group which has got all the circles in it. Yeah, and we're just going to get rid of. I'm just going to get rid of the underscore one underscores because I don't like them. Uh, and then I'm going to copy all this into CodePen. Okay. Uh, and it's obviously copied the red thing, the red background over, which you don't need. Goodbye. Okay. So let me just change the CSS a little bit so that this is a little bit bigger. Oh no, hang on. There you are. Um, so we've got the liquid and we've got the outline and we've got the bubbles. Um, so let's get started. Let's let's start working out, uh, working out the structure. Now, the way masks work is they're different from clip paths. Clip paths are uh, graphics that um, it doesn't matter what color the graphics are within the clip path, they will always clip a path, okay? Whereas with a mask, you have a bit more control. If if you uh, well, the way it works is it works in shades of grey. I think um, if you have a shape within the mask that is white, then whatever shape is applied to that, uh, whatever um, you apply, if you apply that mask to something, then whatever's white inside the mask will show your element through. I'll show you in a minute. And whatever's black will not um, show through. Uh, and so uh, just as a sort of an overview, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this liquid shape, put it inside the mask, and we're gonna make it white, and we're gonna apply that mask to the liquid, 
Okay, so what we're essentially doing is we're masking the liquid with its own shape, which means we'll, it'll be exactly the same. You won't notice any difference at all because it's the same shape as the liquid and it's white, meaning anything that's white shows through. Yeah. Um, so, well, let's do that. Let's just do that straight off the bat. Now, first of all, uh, see, there's the tube liquid. Yeah. What I'm going to do first is rather than applying the, the mask to the actual tube liquid itself, I'm just going to add in a group. So I'm going to do G, uh, G and we're going to give it an ID. We don't need to, but it's just so that I can read things more easily. And it's going to be masked liquid. Okay. Uh, close that. Head down to here and then just. So nothing's changed. We've just bunged it in a group. Yeah. Okay. Um, and. Um, what we now need to do is we need to take that shape because we're going to apply this shape, its own shape itself, as a mask. Um, we're going to make it white. So let's go up to the definitions up at the top here. We do mask and we're going to say ID equals uh, liquid mask. And we're going to need that later. Oh, not G, what we're talking about, mask. Should close that off. Yeah. And then we'll paste that shape same shape in we're just going to lose we're going to lose that um, id because we don't want the same id twice uh, tube liquid um, shape we'll call that it doesn't really matter we just don't we just we don't want it to be the same id um, and uh, we're going to make sure this is fully white if it was black then you wouldn't see anything at all. But let me show you. So, let, so let's call liquid mask. Yeah, we haven't done anything yet to the um, to the to the, the masked liquid, and let's just apply that mask equals URL bracket hash liquid mask. Nothing should happen because what we've said is the same shape as this should mask this, and it's white. Yeah. Uh, so we we are now seeing this shape. Being masked by its its own shape, so we see it through it. If we change this to let's say, um, well let, let's say we ch we'll change it to black, it will disappear because even though it's the same shape, a mask won't allow anything that's black to come through. We could change this to a grey, so seven f seven f seven f let's say, and now we see it slightly sort of washed out. So it's it's sort of um, giving it a, an opacity. Or transparency, if you like, but we don't want that because we're going to we want to see the whole thing, yeah. And what we're going to do after that is inside the mask, we're going to animate the bubbles, and the bubbles are going to be black. So the, the bubbles are going to be on top of the white liquid shape, and because they're black, we're saying don't show. Um, whatever's being masked by this. Okay, so let's do that. So here's the bubble group. So we're going to take the whole thing in its group. Yeah, just cut that for a second. Uh, and then we're going to put that inside the mask. Okay. And don't forget they're off, they're kind of off screen at the moment. They're outside the, the, the mask. Um, now, if you don't, if you, this is just an illustrator thing. If you don't set a color, then they're automatically black um, uh, shapes that you make. But I'm going to explicitly say that, and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and also the circles, none of them have had a color or a fill that applied to them. If you put a whole load of uh, shapes inside a group uh, and you don't set a fill or a stroke, you can actually set the entire um, fill for everything inside. Uh, by setting on the group that they're in. So um, we can say uh, all of these are going to be, I know you can do zero, you can just do three zeros, but um, I like six. Um, right, bubble group. Okay, so that's all inside this mask. Okay, let's get rid of the CSS. Um, so now all we, all we need to do now is animate the bubble group. That's all we need to do and make them go up. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. This is going to be a super simple, super quick tutorial. I didn't realize how quick it was going to be. All right, let's go down here. Oh, hang on. I'm going to go off the page here in a minute. Oh, uh, hang on a minute. Um, I mean, what am I going to do here? Let me get rid of, I don't need any of this stuff here for the time being. 
in fact if I get rid of that is that gonna yeah that'll do I don't even need that either um, okay so we're gonna do timeline dot we're gonna do stagger this is using green start by the way dot stagger to and we can call we can talk to yeah, what's it called the bubble group and we can talk to all the circles in the bubble group and stagger them so we're gonna say bubble group and all the circles inside and they'll each take I don't know three seconds to go from bottom to the top uh, and we'll just say their attribute the, the CY the center Y of their of the circles will go to um, I don't know 200 or something I don't know where where are they all at the moment roughly oh did you see that they all shot past um, yeah so if they all go to 200 and don't forget with stagger 2 um, you need the offset so that there goes one two three four uh, one after another and we'll do a, like a 0.6 or something like that and immediately you'll start to see them one after another um, but that's going to stop um, after after they've all animated up to the top so we'll just put a repeat on that of minus one and now you will have um, a looping animation uh, that is transparent basically and with the bubbles have been knocked out and just to show that they are knocked out um, we can just change this to uh, sea green and they're all knocked out or we can change it to black uh, or yellow uh, and yeah you've got transparent knocked out bubbles and they're all in a loop uh, and you can add as many you know, as many circles as bubbles as you want uh, and you could even use um, uh, let me just change that back to white you could even use um, uh, green socks in the new cycle feature so that they all uh, head up to different Y um, positions um, but that's that's it really it's pretty simple so I mean it's just a sort of recap what's happening here is we've we've got the we've got the liquid here this is the main the main liquid that you see tube liquid yeah and we've applied we've put it in the group and we've applied a mask to it that is the same shape as the liquid okay and we've set that to be white so that the entire lot of liquid shows through and it's the same shape but we've also animated black bubbles on top of it inside the mask uh, and so SVG says basically anything that's black within um, the, the mask don't show so we're, so the, the bubbles are black uh, and they're saying so don't show um, what's you know the, the, so don't show whatever's in the mask through the mask uh, and so therefore you end up with nice transparent bubbles um, so that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this and, uh, and learned something. It took me ages to work this out. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, I hope that you don't have to pull your hair out like I had to. Uh, and that you can go and you can do some really cool complex stuff um, with uh, sort of multiple layered um, uh, masking and that sort of thing. In fact, let's just, if we just, um, if we just do an, uh, if you, you can set the transparency on those so that the so that the bubbles aren't aren't all. Um, in fact, and tell you what we'll do rather than doing that, we'll put this one as black, and we'll set this one as grey, and you will start adding depth because some of them will be slightly transparent. Some of them will be seven F, seven F, seven F, and some of them will be. Um, can you see now, over here? Some of them are, are like different, uh, are slightly transparent, so slightly opaque. Two uh, D, two D, two D. I'm just pulling out my repertoire of greys that I have in my head. Um, what else? Uh, three, 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 three. And you'll immediately start to it immediately starts to add a little bit of depth because you've got some of them that are different uh, different opacities anyway and that's because um, they are you're you're taking advantage of the masks um, rule that anything that's white shows anything that's black doesn't show and anything in between is a degree of transparency uh, all right I hope you've enjoyed this I'll see you later bye